Welcome to all the viewers this is Dr Bookworm back with a new video and in this video we are going to learn about the Marie Curie actions which is basically a flagship funding agency of European Union in order to facilitate the doctoral education and post doctoral training of researchers so there are different fully funded PhD and post doc positions offered under Marie Curie actions uh, from throughout the Europe so we will discuss how to apply for Marie Curie actions in this video if you are interested to pursue your PhD or postdoc positions in Europe make sure you watch this video till the end before that if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships and exchange programs abroad so let's begin with today's video First of all you just need to write Marie Curie actions in the Google search and you will see the official website of Marie Curie actions at the top. You just need to click here. I will also share the useful website in the video description. You can access it from there. You can see the details about Marie Curie actions. Uh, you just need to simply click on jobs tab in order to find a fully funded PhD and postdoc position. Here you can perform a search according to a country. If you are willing to pursue your PhD or postdoc position in a particular country, then you can simply select your uh, country of interest from here in the list. Otherwise, if you want to uh, perform your search based on your field, you can simply select your topic of interest from here. Almost all subjects are offered under the Marie Curie actions. So I'm from biological sciences so I will simply select biological sciences. So once you select your uh, uh, area of interest it says that biological sciences uh, positions there are 26 items in the list. So you can uh, read out the details of all the available positions. The first advertisement is offering 15 PhD positions on the topic of nanoparticle based imaging and therapy of chronic pain in the dorsal root ganglia. So you can scroll down and see all the advertisements and check out if your program of interest is available. Uh, and uh, there are multiple positions most of the times under one advertisement like here also 15 R1 researchers that means the MPhil completed candidates are required for PhD positions here as well. Uh, let's move uh, down and here we have 17 positions. Uh, under this uh, natural sciences subject then moving down we have uh, PhD positions more and more and here we have eight postdoc positions uh, so you can find out various PhD and postdoc positions the deadline is also mentioned with each of the advertisement and a description as well so you can read it out to make sure that it is uh, according to your interest and uh, if you are eligible to apply for a particular position or not once you select your uh, position of interest you just need to click here on full job details so once you click here you have all the details about this particular position which organization is offering this uh, which research fields are eligible to apply research profile uh, what should be the research profile of the applicant that is R1 so a fresher MPhil candidate is required uh, for the PhD application here the deadline is also mentioned location is mentioned type of contract is mentioned job status hours per week and all other details are mentioned here you can uh, see the details about the project as well so a complete detail of the research project is also given so that the applicant can read it in detail and decide if he is eligible to apply for it or not or whether uh, his research interest aligns with the project or not so you also have project objectives job offer details so you can uh, see all the details of this position here uh, under the description tab so once you have gone through all the details uh, you can simply go above and here is the tab which says where to apply you just need to click here and you can see the concerned email is given where you need to post your uh, job application 
uh, via email make sure you uh, attach a european format cv uh, with your email and as well as a cover letter uh, both the requirements will be mentioned in uh, the um, details of offer description so you can read out what which documents are needed to apply for this particular position uh, but uh, most of the time a cv in the european format and a cover letter are required to apply for Marie Curie actions so if you don't know how to prepare a european format cv let me tell you uh, you can just go to europass website which is actually an official website of european union uh, which helps you to create a european format cv free of cost if you do not have an account here you can just sign up and you can create your europass cv here uh, so European format is an internationally acceptable format and once you create your profile at uh, here on the Europass you can create a free CV in different templates uh, and decide the design of your choice as well as you can also create a cover letter here in the Europass. So I will also share the link of this website in the video description you can check out from there. If you are a researcher and uh, trying to pursue your PhD or postdoc in Europe, then you must visit this Euraxis or Marie Curie Actions website again and again uh, because uh, all the times new positions are being announced from different countries of Europe. So you can find out the program of your interest with time and then apply for these positions the application process is quite simple once you apply for a particular position then you get shortlisted for the interviews and after interviews the commencement uh, takes place within a few months so it is a quick process if you find a position of your interest relevant to your subject your research then there are high chances that you get selected for this particular position so this was all about Marie Curie actions and Marie Curie fully funded scholarships so with that this is Dr. Bookworm signing off thank you